So what's driving you crazy now? What's, what's ripping your knitting? You know, I mean, <laughs> the, I mean, the whole country is becoming a theocracy. That's one thing. It's, uh, that's dangerous. Uh, it's tabloid stuff. You know, the fact that people don't follow what's important, the fact that people follow, you know, all they care about is the Michael Jackson trial. Mm -hmm. That's and I have to say I watch it every night also on, on the, I watch the reenactment every single night I find <laughs> it I, I find it fascinating and I find it telling it it it, it speaks about so many things that are wrong with this country mm -hmm. the, le the least of which is Michael Jackson you, you don't think Michael Jackson is now I do now you do I mean first of all I think he's going to get off <clears throat> I think he gets off regularly but hey. uh, <laughs> no but um, I always, def I always sort of defended him. Jay and I used to have this argument because he would do a lot of Michael Jackson jokes, and I would say, you know, Jay, I did O.J. Simpson jokes because I knew he killed his wife. I don't know if Michael Jackson is, you know, right, with right. little boys. Right. <clears throat> Having watched the trial now, I think it's much more likely. But I also think that there is no perspective. People have no perspective, especially about crime. You know, zero, zero tolerance. Now, of course, nobody ever wants to see a child, you know, diddled. That's just plain wrong. Mm. But even the people who are testifying against him, uh, they're saying that he serviced them. They didn't service him. Mm. You don't have I kids, just, do you, Bill? No. No, I, I have a but son. I, it makes me crazy, this thing, this Michael Jackson thing. It drives me... I, the idea of someone touching my kid... Right. Which I would go... I would nearly swore that. I'd very, go crazy. Very wrong. Yeah. But, you know, I remember when I was a kid, I was savagely beaten once by bullies in the schoolyard. Mm. Savagely beaten. If I had a choice between being savagely beaten and being gently masturbated by a pop star... <laughs> It's just me. The always controversial Bill Maher, everybody. Right, that's it. Bill Maher. We'll be right back at Green Fire. That's it. <laughs> Bill Maher, everybody. Welcome, welcome. How lovely to see I you. I tell you, I got high with the band before the show. I'm not going to be very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, no, that's not. You if you got high with a band here, you're very high. Yeah. <laughs> they say if you meet the band at this show, it's time to go to hospital. You don't really want a band. No. You don't want guests. You just are so happy right here. It's just you and them, really. I know, you, it's true. No, I do really want guests. You don't really want me here. Well... You don't want a relationship. Don't force it's me into this. <laughs> no, no, no. I do want you here. I love you. I love you, Bill. I go on your show. You come on my show. It's like we're the monkeys. <laughs> we should live a in the same house with a fire pole oh, where we can slide out. No, no, no. Ooh, ooh, monkeys. You know, monkeys. Here we come, walking down the street. That's my point. He doesn't need me here. Oh, he just sorry. really wants to... Talk to me about the election, Bill. What's going on? No. Any surprises? No, Mr. Entertainment. You keep oh, going. Oh, stop. <laughs> Come on. Well, it's not till tomorrow. I mean, the big surprise would be if Barack Obama and Joe Biden cannot somehow beat a 200-year-old man <laughs> <clears throat> and the spokeswoman from the car show. That would be a giant I, surprise. To me. You've been very tough on Tony. Very, very tough on You've been very tough on Sarah Pale, and I, I don't kind of as, as that I should here. be. Oh, no, no. She, she's she, lovely. Come on. She is a Category 5 moron. She's... Uh, <laughs> People should be tough on her. Why shouldn't we be tough on her? Because she's a woman. I thought we were. No, she's an, that... an attractive woman. That's the thing. You, hey, you, you... you live your way. I'll live my way. All right. <laughs> European values. You know. <laughs> uh, I'm American but... now. I'm voting. In fact, I've voted already. Who'd you vote for? I'm not telling you. Right. All right. <laughs> you voted for Obama. You're not a crazy person. But. Um... <laughs> But you, you hit it on, you hit on it in, in your little sketch there with the midget. Uh, the, I, don't th I don't think you can say midget. I, I'm serious. I think you have to well, say... Uh, Craig, I can. I'm on HBO. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we say midget All right, HBO. all right. Don't say it again. Well, what do you call them here on regular TV? Yeah, colleagues. Challenge? Colleagues. That's what we call them. 
But the reason why all these crazy right wingers love her is because they're hot for her. McCain wants to do her. Oh, stop. Oh, no, come on. I'm telling you, the surge is working in his pants. I uh, know, stop that. Why stop? A bit of, res why? A bit of respect <laughs> for the man. Why, when I tell jokes, we have to stop, but when you do, it's okay. <laughs> you see what I mean? You yeah, don't no, want you're right. You're right. No, you fair don't news. Want to no, guess. all right, all right, fair enough. Carry on then. Go on, trash an American hero. Why don't you? Who's an American hero? Sarah Palin? No, 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 John McCain. Well, he's certainly very brave, yes, I would agree with that. He, he did heroic work for his country. He also crashed three planes. And, uh, I mean, they, they don't talk about a lot of the stuff with John McCain because, you know, it's like, well, he was a POW, and he was, you know, right. and, and we do honor that. But, you know, it, it has nothing to do with whether he could be a good president. You know, if, if getting roughed up is the criteria, then I'm going to vote for uh, Tina Turner. Oh, yeah. Well, well. no, you make a fair point. You make a fair point. Well, now I'm making a fair point. Oh, yeah, yeah, you make a fair point. <laughs> oh, stop. You, you see, I beat him back down there, right? <laughs> hey, what about uh, this, uh, the Sarah Palin's husband being a part of this? Is he part of this group? This Absolutely. Really? The Alaska, yes. It's amazing to me that the media didn't make more of this issue Isn't during the treason? campaign. Absolutely. I, I thought it was, it's, yeah. it's so interesting that their whole campaign was calling Obama every... Every bad name in the book. He's a terrorist, pals around with terrorists, terrorists yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. They should pal around with economists, anyway. Oh, wow. But, uh, okay, pals around with terrorists, he's a socialist, he's a communist, he's an Arab, he's an anti-Semite, he's an anti-American, and of course the worst, he's a celebrity. Yeah. That's what the worst That's thing they said about him was that he's popular. He fills stadiums. Yeah. Well, the Republicans can fill stadiums like the Superdome during Katrina. Hey. Uh, but. But. The, <laughs> why are all my jokes off limits to you? Like, I think it's a state of disapproval from you. I pretend to be disapproving. That's what uh, I do here. I'm the sort of grumpy old grandpa. I'm the get you oh, off maybe, of my lawn, well, kids. Maybe that. you did vote for McCain. Well, maybe uh, I did. But, uh. What was the question? Um, oh, oh that, yeah, that, that, right. yeah, yeah. That, that they could call all these names, call Obama all these names, and yet nobody called them out on something that actually is treasonous. Yeah. Yes, Todd Palin was a member of the Alaskan Independence Party uh, in the 90s and partly into this uh, century. Sarah Palin has spoken to the Alaskan Independence Party. He said, you're doing good work. I support you. Uh, the head of the party, the person who founded, a guy named Joe Vogler, Joe the moron uh, <laughs> has said things like hey I will never be buried under your damn flag he he said he hates the American government I mean this is really treasonous stuff it's terrible you think about it. these people if it weren't for us they'd be Canadians <laughs> Craig, I agree with you. We are definitely building the wall on the wrong border. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. He doesn't mean that, Canadian viewer. I have a viewer in Canada, all right? I'd like to keep her. Did you ever go up to Canada? It's lovely up there. Where, you said you were going to move if McCain gets in. Where are you no, going to go? I never said that. I, I said every week on the show I would never move, but we have presented options for people who do want to move. Well, that's what I meant. <laughs> Canada, is Canada one of them? Well, no, I'm not moving. But All yes, right. I, hypothetically, I, then, I, if, if well, someone I, else were moving. We're, well, Canada is a great country. I do look good. It it's it's nice. like a big blue state. You know, it's, a, it's like everything we have in America, but without all that right wing nonsense. You know? The, you Choose know, another country, then. Uh, oh, I mean, there's Scot Scotland. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Bell, Bell, Bell. Like to move We're not to, talking about time I'd travel. I'd like to move no, to Scotland no, 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 no. and get a talk show no. just to shove it to you. No, no. no uh, it, you don't want a talk show in Scotland because no, you have to win by fighting. But they're, they're not, you know, at least half of this country is just, is just dumbass ignorant. Um, and they don't have that in Canada. Like 20, there was a poll last week, 23% of Texans, this is a week before the election, believe Obama is a Muslim. Wow. Now, that's yeah. just stubbornly ignorant. And, you know, McCain and Palin, when they're on the stump, they're always saying, who is Barack Obama? Well, if you don't know by now, if you can't get that through your thick skull, it's really not his fault. 
You know, it used to be okay to not know anything in America. Maybe you went to high school here. Uh, or you're a Baptist. Right. But, uh, but now information is everywhere. There's the internet and the Google. Yeah, you got the Google uh, there. That's got all the information. That's right. fabulous entertainment. On that com- <laughs> we, Bill, we have to take a break. I, I want to talk to you more about this. We'll have a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with Bill Maher, everybody. <laughs> Someone realizes what they've said. Yeah. yeah. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with uh, Bill Mark, who's uh, your documentary, Religious. Is that yes, how it's pronounced? Religious. Pronounced it correctly. Now, is is this documentary anti-religion, uh, Bill? Well, sort of. <laughs> Um, but it's not mean, you know. I think one of the reasons it's done well and people like what it. Is this like a hundred million dollars no, in its first no, day? No, no, that's like a regular movie. But it, right. but it has among documentaries, it's already seventh on the all time list of every documentary they ever made. Good. So Lord. it has done well. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, and I think people people were expecting it to be mean spirited, and they found that it is not because I'm not trying to be mean spirited. I'm not trying to put my finger in people's face and saying you're stupid. What I'm saying is I'm asking questions mm-hmm. that people never ask in this country because usually this topic of religion and faith. You say the word faith, case closed, conversation ends. You know that's my faith. And what I'm saying is I'm just going to ask you questions like why is faith good? Mm-hmm. Why is uh, saying you're going to suspend critical thinking, a good thing, especially when you're a senator. Okay? I was thinking about it. I think it's a fair question. I think faith is good because it combats fear of the unknown. I think that's what it's useful for. But if you're doing it by making up stories and uh, cleaving to stories that were made up by men in the Bronze Age right. when they didn't know where the sun went at night, and, you know, what makes babies? You know, stuff George Bush still doesn't know. Uh, then, it starts, then it starts to affect policy, you know, Sarah Well, there, well there's an interesting thing. The, the marriage of uh, religion and politics in America, which is actually, I, I studied the Constitution a little bit before I became a I citizen this year. I know you did. Year. We talked about it last time isn't you were that, Isn't that against the Constitution, the, the religion and politics? They, they actually forbid it? Yes, we call it separation of church and state There you here. go. Uh, and I was right. wondering if... Um, if, but is, is that your motive of making the documentary? It's not really about religion, it's really about politics? Or well, what? that's certainly part of it. I think even people who are religious and wouldn't agree with my central thesis that maybe we shouldn't you know, believe in the invisible space god, uh, I think they would agree that we've had it up to here with having religion shoved down our throats by political people. Well, that's for sure. I think they hide behind it. I think a lot of people as scoundrels hide behind religion. I wonder, though, do you believe in God? Uh, I don't, not, you know, look, I don't say I'm an atheist because that, to me, is, mirrors the kind of certitude yeah, it's, that it's religious people stance, have. Yeah. I say, I don't know. This is what we say in the movie, is I don't know. And anyone who tells me that they know for sure what happens in the next world, mm. and of course the people who talk about the next world, they're more sure of that than what happens on Earth, which is ridiculous. because we, we don't know what goes on in this world. We get all this stuff dead wrong. Right. No, it, 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 it is kind of worrying. And yet they know about the next world in such certitude and with such detail. You yeah. know that when you get to heaven, you'll meet Jesus. He's at the right hand of the Father. He's wearing a white robe. It has gold piping on the sleeve. There's a, a chorus of angels. Three of them are playing trumpets. I'm like, How the hell do you know this yeah, stuff? No, it, it, it seems quite... Uh, but what about... Uh, were there any religions... Because you looked at a lot of different religions in the, in the movie, yeah. right? Was, were there any of the religions you looked at you went, Actually, you know, I can see a way in there for me. No. No, none at no, all? Th- I mean... <laughs> no, I mean, they're all crazy. The, 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 they're all completely insane. The, the new ones are actually funnier because, you know, like Mormonism and, and Scientology. Right. Uh, which I think they should combine and make Mormontology. Uh, <laughs> They're even funnier because, you know, they're only like 100, 150 years old. Right. So by the time they got to the trough, most of the good crazy was already taken. <laughs> so, like, the Mormons had to... I mean, have you ever studied what the Mormons believe I've read in? a little bit about it. I read uh, Under the Banner of Heaven, the John Krakauer book. Have you read that? I have not. That's, but, it's a very interesting study of early, the early Mormon church. I mean, they believe in magic underwear? Yes. Yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> 
protective undergarments. How many are wearing magic underwear tonight? Well, good, because if that midget gets up in the audience, you're going to need it. I'm just kidding. What? I can't say midget. Uh... I'm, no, I'm wearing magic underwear because I can drive myself like a dog. Using my magic underwear. Oh, now I'm, now I'm going to pretend I'm offended at your remarks. <laughs> Stop that. That's oh, not right. What sake, sort Bill, of a thing is that to now. say? I'm no, a, I'm offended I'm at you, Bill. Please, I'm, I'm not, offended at I'm you. I'm not talking to you anymore. That's... <laughs> I'll talk to the band. All right, talk to the band. Bill. At, at least, at least they got me go. high. My first guest is, uh, is a great big star, and he's got a documentary, uh, Religulous, which is out on DVD today. He does a show real time with Bill Maher. It begins its seventh season this Friday on HBO at 10 p.m. Please welcome the wonderful Bill Maher, everybody. Bye. Well, you, you really like to get close up to the camera, don't you? I do, yeah. It's the only way I can battle the completely crappy lighting we have in this studio. <laughs> that was the whole idea behind the sparklers well, I mean, as I've well. I've heard that phrase, make love to the camera, but you, like no one else I've ever seen, really... Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> but someone, don't tell my wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> someone you can bone on a regular basis because you just seem to really want to get in that camera. I do. I slap it like it's a naughty girl. <laughs> now, see, hey, you can uh, get away. You can get away with that with that Scottish accent. I've yes, seen it. I know. Yeah, it's very uh, beautiful very for all the people who could not see it when it was out because it wouldn't play in your town because you live in America. <laughs> well, it was they, either this or have a spark. They can't stop you from seeing it now. You can actually buy it at Walmart. Right. Can you really? And you can pick up a weed whacker while you're getting it. <laughs> Speaking of weed whacker, again, yeah. the camera, you seem no, to be No, stop weird. it. No, I don't. I don't make love to the camera. I make love to a lady. Oh, Yo, you do. You have a regular. Yeah, yeah, I have a wife. I'm married. <laughs> you ever think I about getting I married? <laughs> oh, I've married? Th oh, I've thought about it. Well, well why didn't you? <laughs> uh, that's because I've thought about oh, it. Oh, no. <laughs> Surely, don't be so no, 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 I would never... Look, people think I'm against marriage. I'm not against marriage. There are some people I know who love marriage. They're called women. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know why this is so great? Because we just had Valentine's Day, and Valentine's Day is about love, and religion is not real, but love is. Wow, that's the most shameless plug I've ever seen. It's pretty shameless, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, Maybe uh, I should get I've near the camera when no, no, I no, say no, it. Yeah. The, uh, the, uh, I've seen the movie. Uh, you, uh, you have a go at organized religion. You, you really have a go. I, now, to be fair... I have a go. Yeah, you have a go. Yeah. Nudge, You're like nudge. me with a camera. <laughs> and I... I, now, it's not easy for me to make an argument for organized religion, but I'm going to. I feel it's my job. Really? Uh, yeah. Um, Bill, you, what do you think you're up to? Knock it off, Bill. If, if only all of America was as half-hearted as you <laughs> on this subject, but... Uh, it's, it, no, it's really a, well, a documentary I mean, against fanaticism, though, isn't you know, it? It's not really against religion, I don't think. I disagree strongly, and really? I'm the guy who made the movie, wow. so I really should. Of course, it, all of religion is fanaticism. Well, that's a fanatical thing to say. No, it is not. Yes, it is. No, yes. you know, that's, the, that's one of the cr critiques we got, is that you're only, you know, trying to pick on the extremists. Excuse me, but if you believe in a talking snake, if you believe you're drinking the blood of a 2,000-year-old god on Sunday, you are an extremist. You are extremely irrational. But not, not, not everybody thinks that. Well, what do you mean not everybody thinks that? But religious people do. That's what religious people think. Well, well Hindus don't. Hindus don't believe that. They, they believe their own crazy <laughs> like you're on in India. Yeah, I am. <laughs> They've outsourced the entire show. I'm the biggest show in Mumbai. I gotta... 
I gotta make a call to HBO. <laughs> <laughs> really, you're on in India. I don't know, but the, the, the YouTube, everybody's on everywhere now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, do you ever Google yourself? <laughs> I told you, Craig, I'm not married. Yeah. I don't have to. I do, I believe in love. Well, That's... you don't like marriage and you don't like religion. Which one? What does the one thing have to do with the other? You started it. <laughs> yes, I do believe in love. What, but what, what is marriage? That is a state-sanctified thing. I know. That is saying, you know, the state... Only if you're not gay, though. Right. <laughs> right, exactly. That is, you know, and I don't... Why would I, if I was in love, invite the state, the government, into my private life? Why would you do that? Tax rebate. <laughs> well. <clears throat> and, and lots of other romantic reasons, but right. tax reasons. And, and you count those pennies when the state gets into a divorce. I've been divorced too. Right. How'd that go? Oh. <laughs> oh. Have, you, have you ever been divorced? No. Wait. No. I've never been married, fool. <laughs> How could I have been divorced? Well, you're, you're, you know, you're a talented guy. You'd figure a way out. <laughs> no, I'm very proud. I never got my toe caught in the trap. But, um, but I, I swear to God, the last time I was here, you were single. Yeah, you were. I was. Yeah, I just got married. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So you met someone? No. <laughs> At the wedding. Well, congratulations. Thanks That's very right. much indeed. And how long have you been a citizen? Uh, ooh, just over a year now. Right. And when did this country fall into economic disrepair? Hey! <laughs> I did actually notice you that. You really jumped on a sinking ship, didn't you, my friend? I don't have a talking rat. <laughs> if I had a talking rat on my head, it would say, Danger! Danger, Craig! Danger! All right. You say it. Right. How's the real-time show going? That's a fantastic show, that. You really stick it to all the folks. <laughs> that was about as half-assed as your <laughs> attack on religion. I like the show. I've been on the show. I like the show. It's very good. Yes, thank you, you so right. much. Yeah, right. um, yes, we're starting our new season. So Start I'll a new be season. gainfully yeah, employed in a few days on Friday night. So I'm sorry, President Obama. I can't be your commerce secretary. <laughs> You have to, uh, have you done your taxes? Yeah. Well, because there's a lot of people in the Obama cabinet that uh, haven't. I, I don't think he has ever met anyone who did do his taxes. I know, it's looking bad right now, yeah. Not on a hot streak with the vetting. How is, how is it going to be with the Obama presidency for you? Because you were sticking it to Bush pretty tough. I mean, Obama's... Well, I mean, you know, you're... Even at, if you agree, you, you agree or don't agree, he's just started. You know? But you're, I think you're, you're skirting around the question everybody asks is, how can you make jokes? You know, Bush was so easy. Are you having trouble making jokes about Obama? I do fart jokes, Bill. <laughs> and listen, he, he may be wonderful, but the man farts. And when he does, I'll be there. <laughs> How long does this show go on without a commercial? <laughs> nah, I'm going to stay here until you say you believe in love, Bill. <laughs> I do believe in love. Do you? That's why I didn't get married. You no, don't listen we've to we've been me. here before. We're I know. Uh, sorry. <laughs> do you want to have commercials and make-up sex? Because <laughs> that really is like marriage. I then. feel like I took mushrooms in the desert. How long have we been out here? Probably long enough, but it, it's always nice that you, you come to see us, oh, and I'm I sure... Oh, I see. It's one segment. You yeah, yeah, yeah. smushed it all into one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you wanted to break? No, no, no. You foreigners do it the way you want. Yeah, no, I'm an American, Bill. I'm an American. We don't all sound the same in America, Bill. You, as, oh, yeah. a, as a liberal gentleman, would know that. We never really got to the economy. Did no, we? we never got to the economy. But and that's just as well, because it's, it's in the toilet. It is yeah, so bad. Yeah. Bank robbers are not even robbing banks. There's no money in it. <laughs> Come on, everybody. We're right back. Please welcome Bill Maher, everybody. Bill Maher. Hey, 
Bill. What's up, Bill? I'm going to clean that up, you mean? Yeah, I'll be all right. Someone will get to it in a while. I'll clean that up later. I actually clean up my studio when I'm done. You look drunk. Look at your tie. I look drunk because I've got a cold. Oh. I actually haven't had a drink in 20 years, but I, I appear to be drunk. Oh, that's why you're so irritable. I am very irritable. <laughs> you drink a lot, don't you? I don't drink a lot anymore. I used to drink a lot. Really? What happened? I got old. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I mean, that's a lot of it, is that you just can't, you know, your body can't take it. But, I mean, I was never a drunk. I was a heavy drinker. There is a big difference. Uh, <laughs> well, there is. That's the truth. But, you know, I, I miss it like a dead friend. I really you do. Really? I, yeah. I mean, it changes your whole life when you can't drink. Yeah, well, if it changes your whole life when you can't drink, you're a drunk, but... <laughs> no. You're a drunk if you drink in the day. Oh, really? You're drunk if it, if, you know, if you can't stop drinking, if it affects your life, it affects your relationships. Yeah. Uh, none of that. I'm, I just had a good time after work. <laughs> I used to be in the studio right across the I hall. remember, yeah. Right. You used to say, there's old drunk Bill going <laughs> I don't know why no, I got on this. You're not didn't. really a drunk. You weren't even I, here then. You, I were, know. you were still living I was, in... I was a guest on your show. Many Polit times. Politically incorrect, that's, I remember. That's yeah. correct. We, that was, we, we used to make good stuff here. Yeah. <laughs> we used you. You did, yeah. I liked it, though. <laughs> why are you doing... Now, your comedy special is on Yahoo. You're, yes. You're, it's streaming. <laughs> it's streaming. Does that mean you can cuss more? Uh, well, I can cuss anywhere. I, so you cuss here. Yeah, but it never makes it to the air. <laughs> Well, I mean, normally on HBO, we can cuss there anytime we you want. You can, yeah, yeah. We can cuss a lot there. But, <laughs> but uh, no, I wanted to do something different. I, you know, I mean, this is a different age. It's the age of the internet, Craig. Yes, it is. And, I've, uh, I've, I've chat roulette. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I've actually never Absol gone on it. You, have you seen I, it? Well, I certainly know what it is. Right. It's it's like you 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 just turn up naked and get your photograph taken and then talk to people, right? <laughs> Sorta. This conversation is getting a little awkward, Mrs. Well, Robinson. That's kind of uh, my thing, though, no, I, Bill. I, I you know, know that. I know it is. Anyway, uh... Don't tell me about John Roulette. I uh, really don't know about it. Well, uh, it's... Let me put it this way. Right. Uh, if, if someone tuned into Chat Roulette and saw Mitt Romney masturbating, they would go, Gosh, I wonder who else is masturbating right now. <laughs> Which... So you're saying people get jaded quickly? I'm, no, I'm, I'm saying people don't like Mitt Romney. Oh. And they're always, they're always looking for somebody oh, other than Mitt Romney. Right. I found a way to make a You made it comment. about politics, didn't you? All right. Well, let's see. You must be having a nice time then with the Republicans all biting and snapping at each other right now. <laughs> Thank you for that generic opening co-worker. Uh, uh, you managed to put no, Mitt Romney in chat for a I'm just right, conceding I defeat. I, no, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's very nice of you, but I know you're not really interested in politics. Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I just I, think I, that. I, I mean, yeah. honestly, I mean, every time I talk to any politician at all, not just American, by the way, any politician anywhere in the world, I'm like, oh, I hate you. <laughs> I just, they're so, I, I mean, know. I've worked in the show business for a long well, time, but these people are genuinely sleazy. You right. mean? <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of really. I am. In general. But you, you. I mean, not all of them. I don't think. Not the, all I, of I them, mean, I, I don't, guess. I don't, I honestly don't think the president is sleazy. I mean, he. Okay. <laughs> What a ringing endorsement, bro. That's his I never met him. I never met him, so I don't know. I'm talking about politicians I've met. I'm not talking about every politician. But every time and, I meet one, I'm like... And how would it have changed if you had met him? You think he would have made a, a, a grab for you? <laughs> that might get my vote, mister. <laughs> no, I don't know. I just, I kind of, I'm not really interested in getting in. You love that battle and that fight all the time. I don't like all of that. I had enough of that growing up. I'm done. <laughs> I don't want any more arguments. I'm like, that's everybody's fine. But it does affect people's lives. I mean, like, we've, sure. had, we've had a big argument in this country lately about whether women should be able to get birth control from their employer. Right. <laughs> well, what do you think about that? You must have an opinion. No, no, I have a private opinion, but this is a TV show where I'm happy to spoke crikey and talk to a drunk skeleton. <laughs> 
the thing has to be a public opinion, is what oh, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, you're right. You know, I don't feel the need to have everyone know what I'm thinking about everything except drunk skeletons and, you know. <laughs> Which is, I know you feel that way, which is odd when I'm here and then you ask me a question because I know you hate the answer. You don't know, you haven't answered it yet. What was the question? I can't remember. <laughs> huh. Are you having we, a nice time? We, we, <laughs> we might as well be still drinking. <laughs> For the amount that we can keep a conversation going. It's not bad. No, you know. we might as well have No, a... I think we are professionals, though. I mean, basically, we've talked about nothing for quite a long time. Yeah. <laughs> That's the great thing about coming on your show. I burn no material. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is a ringing endorsement. <laughs> we have... Let's take a break. We'll be right back with Bill Maher. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Bill Maher. Uh, please ignore these Wait. papers on the floor there for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for getting a shot of them, though. <laughs> I dropped some papers before Bill came out. He said, what are these papers? I was like, never mind. <laughs> you don't like Santorum, then, I'm I saying. offered to clean them up No, personally. no, it's fine. I'll get to them later. Because it doesn't match. That's what the thing is. It doesn't it, match what? It doesn't match the... <laughs> <laughs> that you did that bit and now you're taking it out. And Take, I'm taking that bit out of the show but, because you are so la la. interesting. That's why. <laughs> but the papers are on the floor. If the, the papers only made sense because you did the bit, now you're cutting the bit, but the papers are still on the floor. <laughs> yeah! That's the kind of crazy I got up. I got up to right now. Uh, I'm a, All right. I, I, you know, I admit, I'm a little anal. Which brings us back to Rick Santorum. Santorum. All right. Uh, All right, on you go. No. Now, uh, I don't know much about Rick Santorum, really. I know that well, he's got some very, he's very, very, uh, hugely conservative, right? Oh, my God. This guy thinks about gay sex more than Richard Simmons. <laughs> this, yeah. But may, maybe about the same. Yeah. I, don't, yeah, I don't think anyone could think about gay sex more. <laughs> you would know. Uh, <laughs> But <laughs> I'm not going to argue that point. But okay. uh, but yes, he's he's probably the most conservative candidate we've ever had in the United States. He's not a real contender, is he? Absolutely, he's the front runner right now. Yeah, I know. But wasn't uh, who was the guy that was having sex with all these women? He was a front runner for a while, and then a backman with a witch's hat. She was a front runner for a while. I mean, that's not real. It's just made up no, stuff. No, no. Now, now it's getting real. Now yeah. they're down to the last three. See, there was yes. There, at one point, there was like nine in the in the race, right? And then they all kept dropping off. You know, Bachman dropped out, Kane dropped out, right. Trump dropped out, Perry dropped out. That's my favorite part of the campaign is when they start killing them off, like the repulsive teenagers in a slasher movie. Right. You know, that's, <laughs> but, <laughs> but now they're down to the final four. So these are the hot teenagers that are left then. <laughs> Exactly, these are the hot ones. I, I wouldn't exactly call it that, but uh, but yeah, these are the people who might. I mean, there's Newt Gingrich. You're right. aware of him? Yeah, he's been on the show. The last politician I had on the show. Newt, Newt Gingrich. Gingrich was here. Yeah. <laughs> so you're responsible for this. Yeah, I guess. I'm, I'm really sorry. And what was he like? Because he. I told you what I said. I'm I what know. I said is what I said. But you can't judge. You cannot judge all politicians by the biggest, fattest turd from the '90s. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, by the way, conservative websites, he said that, not me. Right? Oh, yeah. I, I have no problem insulting conservative No, I, I know that, but, I know that. But I mean, the other problem, I don't like them either, especially on the Republican side, but I mean, Newt Gingrich is, is, a, is a Batman villain. I mean, he's... <laughs> and, and I don't mean like from the new Batman, I mean like from the old Adam you West You mean the Batman. TV Batman? Yes. You've gone too I'm, far, I'm talking son. about uh, <laughs> a fat, over-the-hill <laughs> character actor <laughs> with two henchmen in dog suits in a warehouse. <laughs> Batman villain. I mean, he's just out of so control. So you're not, you're not thinking he... But is he real, though? Is he real? He's is a he, real person. Yeah, I know that. That's that right there. Yeah. I mean, he's a real... What's that coming to go? Yeah. Uh, but is he, a real, is he a real content? Well, you know, he was, and now he's dropped out again. But right. the thing is, Super Tuesday is coming up.
right, that's right. when a lot of states, a lot of the southern states vote, a lot of what I call the car on the lawn states vote. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and uh, a lot of a lot of these good people do not have cable bill, and that's where I went. So <laughs> anyway, so yes, he he could. Uh, uh, the thing is, he's for some reason lost the woman's vote. Perhaps, well, yeah, yeah, there you go. Perhaps because he's had three wives. Uh -huh. He's also, by the way, people don't realize this. They know he's had three wives. He's also had three religions. Yeah, really was born a Lutheran. Right. Then went to Baptist, right. probably to win election in Georgia, and now he's a Catholic. I love people who have three of the one true faith. <laughs> I, was, I was not. I was not. <laughs> yes, that's why I come here, to wow. pick up your papers and to educate that, that you. That is it. amazing to me. He never mentioned that when he was here. Mind you, I never asked him. So, uh, it, it what did you talk about? I don't and, know. and what Scaling. did that guy do when yeah. Newt was here? I think he, he was kind of made a pass at him, and I said he had nice hair, and then we read an email, and he left. <laughs> I notice he doesn't talk to me, only you. Uh, hey, Bill, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like me. I don't like you. He's very conservative. <laughs> uh, show me your junk. <laughs> That's the way it is. So listen, who are the candidates we're, we, are, we oh. talked about? There's, uh, there's Gingrich, there's uh, Santorum, there's uh, Mitt Romney, of Mitt course. Mitt Romney, yes. Yeah, no, what's wrong with Mitt Romney? He's got lovely hair. Seems nice. <laughs> well, uh, you know, what's wrong with him? I mean, let me count the ways. Uh, for, first of all, he's very out of touch with the regular person in this country. Mm -hmm. You know, he's one of these rich people who buys into this theory. The Republicans put out this idea now that America is not, as the Democrats would describe it, haves and have-nots. They right. hate that idea. Right. They say, we're haves and soon-to-haves. Uh, Mark Rubio made a speech. He said, uh, when Americans drive through a rich neighborhood, we don't look at the houses and hate the people in the houses. We look at those houses and say, congratulations, we'll be joining you soon. <laughs> That's Which, what I think when I drive through Beverly Hills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, this is, a, this, is, this is the worst scam since Pet Rocks. I mean, to hold that... <laughs> Kind of carrot out to Americans that they will be joining you soon. Yeah. Before or after Newt's uh, moon colony is up, I would like to. <laughs> sooner than that. You don't you think know? that's a good idea then, the moon colony? I, I thought that was a great idea, man. You don't like Star Trek? What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> moon colony's a great idea. Like, go to the moon? Where are you going for your vacation? Moon. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. <laughs> what do you even need me here for? You know? Like a shill for you. I'm no, 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 I gotta explain. But it's only because, you know, Crikey. with everybody, so I'm just Crikey. Absolutely. <laughs> I would have it no other way. No, I don't. No. Anyway, look, we're out of time. Do you want to do the, uh, the mouth organ, the glittery ball, or the awkward pause, or do you want to go for the big cash prize? I want a big cash prize. What time is it, Shadow Steven? It's time for the big cash dollars in a bag with a dollar sign on it in quarters, right? Uh, this would be perfect for the Batman villain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, this is exactly what a Batman villain has. I'll give it to Newt. All right. <laughs> then you would be uh, contributing to his campaign. No, I won't. All right. <laughs> Two ways to win. You can either guess what's in my box. Uh, don't do that. You can answer a question. One way to win. You can answer a question. Are you ready? I am. All right, then. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Okay. I know it's not going to have anything to do with that. That's nothing to do with that. <laughs> yeah, you're catching on now, aren't you? <laughs> All right. Within five, how many pounds of milk does it take to make one pound of cheese? Oh. Tootsie frootsie. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't. A lot of people out there in America, these good people, <laughs> they work in farms, Bill. <laughs> They're making cheese. They can answer this question right now. Uh, how many pounds of milk does it take to make one pound of cheese? Yeah. Ten. <laughs> Ten? Ten is the correct answer.
Welcome back, everyone. My first guest tonight is a very funny man. His uh, show, Real Time with Bill Maher, is on Friday nights on HBO. And he's performing at the Palms in Las Vegas this weekend. Bill Maher, everybody, Bill Maher. <laughs> What's with the white shirt and the gray jacket? <laughs> well, I know. I called you last night. We talked about this, what we were going to wear. Well, I said I'd I said I wanted to wear a white shirt and a gray jacket. This is... Ooh la la! <laughs> I love when you come on strong like that. <laughs> hey, you know, we met here, you know, baby, years ago. This was it, the old PI studio right here. This was? I think so, wasn't it? Yeah, I've been at... Uh, this, this is... We, now, people always ask me, why, if you're on HBO, do you tape at CBS? Because right. that's show business. They have yeah, yeah. space. And, and also, it's corrupt. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's corrupt. You can, it's corrupt. You can anyway, buy anything you like. But I've been on this lot since 1996 through Politically Incorrect, when that was on Comedy Central, then on ABC, then Real Time on HBO. Wow. But I've endured. That's gangster. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're still here. And... I may say, I'm impressed you still go out and do the stand-up. You still do your thing. Still, you know, yeah. do your thing. Do you? Yeah, yeah, all the time. You have to get a sense of autonomy yeah. from, the, from the, you know, the Borg that controls you. In my case, CBS. In your case, the Democratic Party. You know but what? The, uh, and, uh, <laughs> oh, it's a joke, Bill. It was a joke. It was a joke. I don't mind a joke. That's just not an accurate one. But, uh, <laughs> but you know what? But, I okay. admire you. What? <laughs> wait, I say that no, all. <laughs> no, wait a minute. It's everyone's show, I'm on. I can't figure out. No, because, you know, there's so much drama in late night. Yeah. You know, and you never take the bait. No. You know, everybody else is all, oh, I'm looping, I'm going. And you're like, no, I'm happy here. Yep. At three in the morning. Yep. <laughs> Nobody knows I'm here, Bill. I'm like, the, I'm like the commando of late night. I'm the no underpants of late night. I sneak into your house. And also, you know, the skeleton as the co-host. I would have loved to have been at that production meeting when this show started. <laughs> you know, it was like, well, should we have a sidekick? You know, an Ed McMahon, Andy Richter type. And then some people said, no, let's not do it. And then somebody... <laughs> I'm guessing said, let's do it, but a skeleton in a suit. Well, actually, the first sidekick was a potato. Dude. It really was. I had a little potato sitting there, and it had a little face drawn on it, and he would, I would go, that's great, Craig, and that's it. A <laughs> cow of it. <laughs> so listen, you go out and do stand-up, though. I'm impressed. I think that's good. That keeps you sharp. That keeps your testicles taut. <laughs> it keeps your skills honed, is what I'm saying. No? I, oh, are you, did you ask a question? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Do you think it does? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm in Vegas this weekend. Yeah. You do know, you I'm, do it for money or do you do it because you like to... I mean, there is money involved. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I do it for a lot of reasons. One, you know, when you start out in stand-up, mm -hmm. it sucks. It's, it's one of the hardest jobs it's, to begin. It's awful. Because... <laughs> I remember. I'm just, I'm just agreeing. Right, it was like, course, oh, of course, it was, it's it, awful. It was, oh, it because awful. you're, you're learning something yeah. in front of people. Yes. Now, if you learn, hate you. Yeah, who, yeah, yeah. Well, they hate you because you stink. Right, right, yeah. You know, so. <laughs> we still talking about the early days of stand up. <laughs> But, you know, it gets good later on after you know what you're doing, and so you might as well redeem that. Mm. And, uh, I mean, I, I just love Vegas because it's such an anti-politically correct place. It's, yeah, it's you know, pretty... it, it, As a stand-up, first of all, it's the only place you can play between Thanksgiving and the end of the year. Because at that time of year, everyone is spending all their money on Christmas. But in Vegas, Christmas does not exist. They I don't have, care for it. I have played there on December 23rd. There's not a I got a tree. <laughs> there's not a, a Santa Claus. There's not music. There's not paper. There's not the nothing because they don't want to remind people that look, you're you should be spending this money on your children <laughs> <laughs> instead of <laughs> yeah, you know. I think that's probably true. Are you a gambling man? Do you, do you partake of the activities available up there? Gambling, prostitution, drugs, any of that? Well, at my age, just, I'm just really down to the drugs. Yeah, I guess. 
That's like one of the, co the, the, the great compensations about getting older. The drugs get much better, don't they? I mean, like the, the, you know, the doctors, when they, have you had your colonoscopy? That drug was amazing, I know. Are you talking about pharmaceutical drugs? What other kind are there? I don't do illegal drugs. Uh, street drugs. Mm. <laughs> Who's with me? <laughs> Absolutely. No, what? no, no. I like my drugs come, that get delivered by a guy in a white coat. <laughs> and those winged those boots. are the drugs that will kill you. Yes, I know. They are. Yeah, they the, are. the healthier what about the, drugs. The, are... the pot, you, have you, got, uh, you must have a feeling about uh, legalizing pot. Is it good? You must it... have a feeling. Have you met me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you smoke a lot of pot. You'll be into legalizing pot. I, I, well, well I, first of all, I don't, I, what do you mean by a lot? <laughs> A little bit. No, I, I mean, yes. I mean, th this is not a... Do you, is, there, is there any research on this? <laughs> there is somewhere. I threw it over there, actually, earlier on. This is like having Nel Nelson Mandela on and not knowing he was in prison. But yes, I... He was in prison? Yes, he was in prison. I never brought it up when he was here. Yeah, like okay. you do this show. Anyway, yeah, I mean... Or my show, or any. All right, all right. But, uh... Yes, I mean, we're, we're moving toward that goal. I mean, you know, this country has moved to a place I didn't think I would see in my lifetime. Two states have now voted to legalize it. Uh, applause. They... <laughs> Don't you have a, an applause for pot sign? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, they, they have a sign that will applaud for pot. They hold it up. <laughs> um... Yes, our, our long national buzzkill is nearly over. Yeah. And, yes. and I think that's a great thing. I never cared for it much, really, to be but honest. But that's you. We yeah, yeah, I'm not saying it should be illegal. I'm just right. saying I never cared for it much. You but, know, I, but you tried it. Oh, yeah. This yeah. makes sense. Define tried. <laughs> you inhaled. I, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've yeah. taken every I, drug I've ever heard of. I, this, I, I... <laughs> and it shows. But this, I... <laughs> I understand this because I know... Pot only works on one third of the people. A third of the people who smoke pot get paranoid. Mm. A third get sleepy and lazy and logy and lose their brain capacity. A third get high. <laughs> There's a reason why they call it high, because it, it makes you better, way better. <laughs> and CBS Kills. We'll be right back with Bill Maher, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. We're back. I'm here with Bill Murray. He was telling you me a secret. You are such a sparkling conversationalist. What? That that three-minute commercial break seemed it like... It just went right by like that, didn't uh, it? I, 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 that is... Uh, I can see why you have a show, my friend. You are mesmerizing. Yeah, well, that's the way it is. The way we do it here is, you know, we don't play the commercials during the commercial break. We add them later using editing power. I don't know. <laughs> Still a little pissed off about that shirt. Well, yeah, you're looking right at it. You're like, you're like examining well, my chest. It, 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 when two men dress the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe it means they like similar things, Bill. All right, get to your next question. I don't have a next question. You get to yours. What about, um... Yeah, I would like to ask you a few things. Okay, then. Who are you? <laughs> No. I'm uh, the Mama Kardashian. She's getting her own show, you know. Now, how old are you now? 51. 51. I'm 57. Isn't there something liberating about that? Yeah, a little you bit. Just, yeah. You start to not really care exactly that much. Exactly my it? point. It's I know. fantastic. You know, you just kind of like, I'm going to go to the bathroom right here. <laughs> <laughs> right here, right now. And not only that. What's that? You really? get a round of applause for it. <laughs> oh, look at Grandpa. He went to the bathroom right there. He is so badass. <laughs> Do you know who was here last night? Steven Tyler, who's 60... Wow. 60-something, 60 63 right. or 64 or something. He looks great, though. I mean, he just looks like, like a sort of wrinkly oh, I, version of himself. Right. He's exactly... <laughs> yeah, I saw Aerosmith recently. I said, yeah. like, you could smell the Ben Gay. I was that... <laughs> <laughs> 
No, it's fun. No, no, I, I hate it when people make fun of the Rolling Stones and, you know, like, oh, they're so old. They if, they, if they were too old to be doing it, people wouldn't pay to see them. Yeah, no, that's fine. You and can be old. As long as you're doing it well, and they're still doing it well. Yeah. And also, the Rolling Stones, I must say, they look like they did when they started. They were skinny and ugly to begin with. You're absolutely right. And they're skinny and ugly now. Yeah, that's true. They, and, and that's so rare. I mean, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, they look like they met at a Weight Watchers meeting. You know, I don't know how these guys have kept their waistline and every hair on their head. Even the guy who had cancer has every hair on his head. You know, I worked with them for a little bit. The Rolling Stones? Yeah, yeah. I worked with Mick Jagger for a while. It what was it like to, to have to haul around those amps? It was tough. <laughs> we, I was writing a script. He had seen a, a script that I'd written and he wanted me to write for him. So I was working with him. He's, he's tiny. He's tiny. They're all tiny. It's like, you know when you go to a museum and you see clothes from the olden days and you think, oh, people were little back then? That's what they're like. <laughs> I've met him. He didn't strike me as tiny. You have a big head. <laughs> Metaphorically or just like physically a giant no, head? No, physically a giant head. Why are you even saying that? <laughs> I can't believe you're giving me a hard time. How about my head? What the hell, man? <laughs> Belmar, everybody, Belmar. Sorry, it just went off. <laughs> okay, give me that damn thing. No, you gotta hold it upside down. <laughs> oh, see, I don't know how to do it. Oh. There you go. Okay, now what we're gonna do is. <laughs> Look.